Queen Elizabeth II, the late Queen of England, denies Harry and Meghan's demands of living in Windsor Castle. Why would the Queen deny his own grandson and his wife even the basic request of staying in her own castle? Or was there more to the demands than just a few bedrooms to spare? Let's get into the details. The late Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II, resides in the Royal Windsor Castle. Covering a whopping 13 acres of land, the castle has been owned by the royal family for over a thousand years. Built in the 11th century, the castle, which is located in the old English country of Berkshire, has seen more history than most of the trees planted in its gardens. Harry, after marrying Meghan, the Suits actress, made a request to the Queen to allow them to move into Windsor Castle. Meghan and Harry had set their hearts on Windsor Castle and were believed to have asked the Queen if living quarters could be made available after their marriage, which the Queen respectfully and firmly denied. The Queen instead offered them a stay at Frogmore Cottage, a ten-bedroom house nestled on the Frogmore Estate in the home park, a historic home that sits in the shadow of the late monarch's primary residence, the Windsor Castle. A friend of the Queen's named Lady Elizabeth Anson explains that the cottage was a big deal. The Queen's entrance into the gardens is right next to their cottage. It is essentially her backyard, her solitude, and her privacy. She was giving that up in gifting Harry and Meghan Frogmore Cottage. We all thought it was very big of her. She said, I hope they'll respect it. The Queen on her deathbed had given the rights to the castle to her heir and now King of England, King Charles III. He and his wife Camilla have now moved into the Windsor estate. The King's older son, Prince William, and his wife Kate Middleton reportedly are now also set to move into the castle once they're ready. The Prince of Wales and his wife are currently living with their family in Adelaide Cottage, which is located on the Windsor estate, just a five-minute walk from Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's home, Frogmore Cottage. Prince William will be allowed to move in with his father, as he's the direct heir to the throne once his father steps down as monarch or, in a worst-case scenario, passes away. It's safe to say the Queen denied their request, deeming that it was inappropriate to move into Windsor as a newly married couple. It's also known that everyone in the royal family was not allowed in early and the Queen wasn't about to make an exception for Harry. I think Harry was jealous of the fact that his brother gets to move into Windsor before he could. Harry needs to understand that his family has rules and the rules are that the older son gets to inherit the title of king. He might even have to accept the fact that he'll probably have to live the rest of his life in his brother's shadow even if his pride doesn't allow him to do that. Oh no, but the unrealistic demands don't end there. In other news, it was also reported that Harry demanded his wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, to be fed and clothed by King Charles. After a lengthy fight, the royal experts have to come to question the wild expectations he has for money. Before we get into Harry's demands, we'd like to make a demand that if you enjoy content like this, make sure to like the video and subscribe so you don't miss out on our new videos. After a conversation between Prince Harry and King Charles was leaked to the public, Daniela Ellsler, a royal critic, pointed out Harry's inexperience with money. She says, consider this, when he and Meghan bought their $20 million Montecito estate in 2020, it was the first time in his life he had ever had to shell out for a roof over his head. Having for all 35 of his years been supplied with apartments, rooms and houses for free, courtesy of the late Queen, he would never have paid a gas bill, seen a council rates notice or have ever had to understand the difference between a fixed or variable loan until he was on the downhill slope to 40. For more than three decades, everything had been laid on for him. So basically insinuating that Harry is a spoiled brat that doesn't value money. King Charles's reason to deny his son's request was that he was already paying for Prince William and his wife. King Charles says in his leaked conversation, well, darling boy, you know there's not enough money to go around. I can't pay for anyone else. I'm already having to pay for your brother and Catherine. Which, in Harry's defense, shows a clear sign of favoritism, and it's also a point to note that the king has a net worth just shy of two billion pounds. Is Harry's demands a bit too much for the royal family to consider, or is he justified in his resentment towards his family? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next one.